This is a special presentation of Ag Day Television. The Farm Journal Legacy Project presents Leave a Legacy. And now, your host, Kevin Spafford. Hi, and welcome to Leave a Legacy. I'm Kevin Spafford. We've got a great show for you. Today, we'll learn from the founder of the Executive Program for Agricultural Producers. Visit with one of our case study participants, and we'll hear from a highly respected Western legend. We just completed the first ever Legacy Project workshop tour. From Wisconsin to South Dakota, participants told us continuing family ownership is very important. Folks came with a desire to learn, and many left committed to take a next step. Today, Wes Mills is going to reintroduce the Minnick family of Logansport, Indiana. Many of you may recall Dave as the 2008 Top Producer of the Year. Dave Minnick and Angie May are the hallmark of change as they take steps to transition the family farm. Change is the name of the game around here. Father and daughter, they are the heart and soul of Minnick May Family Farms near Logansport, Indiana. Dave recalls having an important conversation with Angie and her husband Steve while on a fishing trip. In the course of the conversation, said, you know, we really do want to come back to the farm. And, uh, I mean, my wife Marilyn and I just, you know, oh, that, that's one of those things you really want to hear. To understand Dave's passion to pass on the farm and to set a course for the future, you have to understand his upbringing. My parents did not want me to farm did not want me to get in agriculture. Well, that's an uphill battle. But after graduating from Purdue University with a degree in ag economics, Dave did farm, growing the operation from 120 acres when he was first married to wife Marilyn to more than 6,200 acres today. About a third of that is owned. The rest is rented among 19 different landlords. We share that responsibility, I would say. I think there are certain ones that have a long history in working with dad, but he still makes sure to bring Steve or I in on those relationships. Dave's two sons do not farm. Angie now makes many of the management decisions once made by Dave. With an MBA in international business and a background in banking, Angie came back to the family farm in 1999, qualified to help push the business to a new level. From grain marketing to input pricing, Angie handles the day-to-day -day office functions. I have a little bit of an advantage because I know something he doesn't and that's how to operate a computer. <laughs> and so I can hold that over him because he cannot access any information without coming through me, right? Okay. Information so we power. Actually, yeah, No, we actually we print it off. We have a hard copy for him too. Humor aside, there's a level of respect that goes beyond the normal father-daughter relationship. He also knows that we want the farm to succeed into my generation and beyond, and so he will defer, I mean, any decision we've talked about to us, if we think it's too much, he will defer because he knows that we're probably going to be the ones stuck paying that bill. For now, husband Steve works full-time off-farm. The plan is to eventually bring him into the farming operation, but he already contributes when Dave and Angie seek his input on business decisions. Decisions made on the strength of three. We take Angie's information. Uh, we we take Steve's eagerness. Uh, we take my uh, background and uh, uh, experience, and uh, we talk talk things out. It was a talk when Angie was still in high school that Dave encouraged her to prepare for the future, whether it was on the farm or not. One day I said to Angie, I said, "You need to understand, get an education to understand." enough about the farm, the, our specific farm, to either um, manage it or to rent it or to sell it. And so she has worked her way around to uh, working how to manage it. She took that message to heart. Business skills can be learned, but growing up on the farm gives her an added edge, something she and her brothers learned early on. I remember growing up, uh, Dad would come and wake us up and have our list of chores to do for the day, and we'd say, Dad, but it's, it's spring vacation, or it's, you know, it's Christmas break. Well, that's a vacation from school, not from life. This is West Mills reporting. We just learned that growth and succession go hand in hand. 
Dave and Angie review their financials on a regular basis, making sure goals are met, budgets are followed, and the operation is being managed efficiently. When Leave a Legacy returns, I'm going to ask Danny Kleinfelter about the keys to leadership development. Pioneer Hybrid proudly continues its legacy of supporting America's farm families by sponsoring the Farm Journal Legacy Project. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Why series soybeans from Pioneer, for example? They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred-in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. Today's squeeze between feed costs and milk prices creates a critical relationship between forages and profitability. High producing dairy herds rely on high quality silage, so many successful dairy operators trust Pioneer brand silage hybrids. Experienced Pioneer sales professionals can help match the right corn silage hybrids to all phases of your operation for high tonnage, high energy, and high digestibility. Pioneer representatives are backed by extensive research and dairy nutritionists, offering silage harvest and bunker management tips and practical solutions for improved production, all to help you squeeze more milk out of every acre. Pioneer also offers breakthrough corn fiber technology with Pioneer brand 11 CFT inoculant. It improves the fiber digestibility and nutrient value of your corn silage and extends bunk life. From planning through feed out, rely on your Pioneer sales professional to help you improve your silage and give your cow something better to eat. Pioneer, science with service, delivering success. Leave a Legacy Roundtables are designed to offer insight into the teamwork it takes to make a transition successful. Joining me today are Danny Kleinfelter of Texas A&M and Tommy Dell, a third generation farmer from our Farm Journal case study family of Carroll County, Maryland. Danny, Tommy, Thanks for joining me today. Right, thank you. You're welcome. To give Danny kind of an introduction of where we are, Tommy, tell him a little bit about where we are in the planning process and what you expect or where the operation now is going in the future. Um, at this point, my uh, uncle is ready to retire and step away from the business, and my older brother and I are kind of, my, my dad will be taking over for now, and then our, our next step of this transition will be my brother and I taking mm -hmm. over. Um, We've gone through a lot of the processes with Kevin. Uh, my wife is now taking over the accounting mm -hmm. uh, from my grandmother, who did it for years. Um, and now we're, you know, pushing the next step and see what comes. So as we look at the next iteration of the business, the next growth opportunity is really you you stepping into a more management role with your dad. Your yes. professional development is going to be critically important. What do we do with that, Danny? Well, I guess first of all, I'd ask, have you involved yourself in any just formal continuing education? Um, I've been to, I've on, served on a few boards, uh, our Southern States Board, our local Southern States Co-op Board, and gone to the uh, young cooperators uh, meeting okay. with them and learned a lot through that and through the Commodity Classic and uh, been to that several times and learned from a lot of different people there, whether the, the meetings there mm -hmm. or other, other farmers and through contacts with them. I guess one of the things I'd suggest is that you do have a formal development plan. You start put down, what pieces do I need to do to get myself exposed, to, to stretch myself? And I think continuing education is a part of it, not just because I'm at a university and with extension, I think that's critical, but this executive development program for ag producers I run would be one option. Mm -hmm. Faculty from all over the place, producers, half the value you get would be from the other people. I think that's something to think about. Building your network, whether you want to call them mentors, 
peers? And I don't, do you do any of that where you have people that I've, bounce ideas off of? Yeah, um, friends in, uh, in the construction industry okay. and you know, in our area, that's fairly mm -hmm. big, and learn a lot from them and other farmers around, very, other successful farmers in our area. Uh, try to learn from them or you know, be around them as much as I can and learn from them. And I think that that's important. I mean, the, picking successful pe people that challenge you, people that can add some additional insights. I guess the one thing I would suggest is that in addition to around your area, you find some ways to network yourself a little broader. I, I use TPAP as an example because people come from all over, but the, the southern states things, that sometimes I think people get too commodity or too geographic specific. I guess in terms of, do you guys have a formal business plan? Not yet, but that's one of the things we're working on with Kevin and uh, we're, that's uh, one of our next steps is having that in, in place. Because I guess I think that can be a tremendous development tool. It's, the dis it's not just getting the document, it's the discussions that take place, not just between you and your dad, but your brothers, your wife, others, just getting each other's perspectives, how things interact, you know, the finances, what could happen, what would we do if it did? I mean, how do outside forces play in on this? And I think the thought process and interaction, that's education. So, so go ahead. Because I, I was going to say, so, so what I'm hearing is that we should have some <coughs> kind of a, an action plan, some mm -hmm. kind of a f more formalized process right. for development. And it isn't, it isn't one single element. It's no. multifaceted. Maybe it deals with some education, some experience, right. network or mentors in and outside the mm -hmm. industry, in and outside our commodity group, and, and maybe across the United States if I tap into the right, right. right opportunity. I think that's true. So. Go ahead. I, 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 I like the commodity class that we learned from people from mm -hmm. Wisconsin and Texas and mm -hmm. Louisiana metal, you know, Farmers from all over, and not not just in the corn, but you know, through wheat and different growers from all over, and I've learned a lot from how they run their business and talking to them. So that's part of that. And I think one of the things you need to think about is not just what do you need right now, but as you and the business <coughs> grow, I mean, what are going to be the skill sets and some of the perspectives you need to take that next step? And and that's part of it. Is Kevin. You talk about getting outside and people maybe that you say you want to grow from larger operations that have gone through that process. How is ag changing? And part of the key to this whole thing, I think, is that you don't have to know it all. No. You have to be willing to go out and find it, tap into those folks that can help you, learn from some of your, uh, let's call them third-party alliances. You've, you've got alliances throughout the agricultural industry. So how do we pull those key people in or those key resources in to help us build a, what, what I often refer to as a business bigger than self? Okay. I agree. I, th I think that's important. Uh, you will, nobody will ever know it all or even come <laughs> close to knowing a fraction of everything that would be nice to know. But it's, it's a continuous process. And I think you need to set priorities and the action plan just so you're continually moving in that direction. I mean, one of the things, business plans, Kevin talked about, do you, as you're starting this process, do you talk about the things that we've done and what have we learned from our experiences? Yep. Danny, Tommy, thank you. Thank okay. you. When we return, Danny and I will talk about the elements of a good professional development plan and the education, experience, and mentor relationships you should consider. Chalk Talk is next. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Why series soybeans from Pioneer, for example? They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, 
They're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred-in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. On the agronomic terrain, the best outcomes depend on the best advice. A pioneer sales professional realizes no two fields are alike, so no one product is the answer. We offer decades of collective wisdom supported by hundreds of agronomy experts with state-of-the-art knowledge. So choose the right product for the right acre. Choose the people and the company who are out there with you every day, every season. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Thank you. You're welcome. We just visited with Tommy Dell about professional development. Mm -hmm. It sounds like the program should be a little bit more formalized and kind of multifaceted. Help me out with that. I agree. I think there's several parts to it. I don't know if I'd put an exact number, but I think the planning process, it's not just for the business, it's the discussions, the what ifs, the interaction between things, the talking between people, get in the business, getting the different perspectives. It's the process. Of so it's thing. learning how to communicate, and then we'll define some of the right. things that we need. Okay. And what I learned from it. Performing autopsies. Some people call it debriefing. Taking the big decisions that the business has made, whether they turned out well or poorly, okay. and talking through. So we can always draw out the, care, the learning right. characteristics the learning. That's of it. That's the okay. big part of it. I think you need some exposure. he needs some exposure to the negotiation. He may be involved in that already, but when you're dealing with the banker, when you're dealing with the landlords, I mean, even as an observer, that's a big part of the business. So part of it's your network and the relationships you can de develop out there within the industry right. and, and complementary to your business. And I think there's kind of two parts to that. One's the network of people that you can touch base with or mm -hmm. draw on for different perspectives. The other you might call them mentors, people that are seasoned people, usually successful people. They don't even need to be in your industry. They're, they're more likely to be more local. So I need people I can call on, either mm -hmm. from a yes. network basis or somebody that might be a mentor from time to time or on a regular basis that I can call on and get some advice, get yeah. some input, get some I reflect think that's about expertise okay it, it amazes me the most successful people I know have an incredible network that they draw on the other one's one of the things is continuing education not just because that's what I'm in but I I think exposure to development of skills management development is complemented by so, formal so education. so formal education makes a big deal we're moving very very fast as a society mm -hmm. Right? There's right. no possible way to keep up on everything yourself. Why not tap into the expertise that's out there and available? Right. I mean, I run this program called the Executive Program for Agricultural Producers. I think that's a good option. It's exposing to a lot of different faculty from all over the country. But as much as that, a lot of different producers doing different things. It broadens you. So mentors, expertise, and a formalized program. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Coming up next, a California legend who leads by example, readily shares with others, and gives generously to support Ag's future. Legends of Leadership is next. On the agronomic terrain, the best outcomes depend on the best advice. A pioneer sales professional realizes no two fields are alike, so no one product is the answer. We offer decades of collective wisdom supported by hundreds of agronomy experts with state-of-the-art knowledge. So choose the right product for the right acre. Choose the people and the company who are out there with you every day, every season. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Y-Series soybeans from Pioneer, for example. 
They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred-in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. Today's squeeze between feed costs and milk prices creates a critical relationship between forages and profitability. High producing dairy herds rely on high quality silage, so many successful dairy operators trust Pioneer brand silage hybrids. Experienced Pioneer sales professionals can help match the right corn silage hybrids to all phases of your operation for high tonnage, high energy, and high digestibility. Pioneer representatives are backed by extensive research and dairy nutritionists, offering silage harvest and bunker management tips and practical solutions for improved production, all to help you squeeze more milk out of every acre. Pioneer also offers breakthrough corn fiber technology with Pioneer brand 11 CFT inoculant. It improves the fiber digestibility and nutrient value of your corn silage and extends bunk life. From planning through feed out, rely on your Pioneer sales professional to help you improve your silage and give your cow something better to eat. Pioneer, science with service, delivering success. Welcome back to Leave a Legacy. Legends of Leadership is our opportunity to meet some of the trendsetters in agriculture. Today's legend is well known in the West and highly respected in the beef industry. John Harris markets a brand of beef bearing his family's name. It's recognized as high quality and I'd better let John tell his story. Tell me about the concept of branded beef. But we wanted to have something that, that when a consumer went into a store, he would identify Harris Ranch beef you know, as a premium label. And we started on this literally 25 years ago, and it's been, been a somewhat of a slow process. But we do have a, a, a brand identification out there, and it's, it's, it goes all the way from the production cycle to the processing to marketing. It's not just one segment that you, you focus on, but we try, we, uh, we have a, you know, strategies in each one. And now we're, we, you just used a word, not going to degrade anybody. Mm -hmm. And then earlier you talked about, well, maybe we're all, all beef is good, yeah. but you're a highly competitive guy. Well, you got to be competitive to be in any kind of a business, but I hate to see agriculture get into, into being that you build up yourself by tearing down somebody else. I mean, like, like, like some of the uh, uh, sort of like natural food guys and stuff, which we grow organics and we do, you know, a lot of, we feel we're very sustainable, but we don't like the idea that, that, that any food producers are saying that there's any problem with us, something else, so buy mine. So I think we, we'd rather have it be that ours, you know, we're putting every effort we can into ours and it's a great product. But that doesn't mean that uh, anybody else's product is defective. So the stronger agricultural is, it, it, it's better for everybody. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got. To, I mean, the food, food is one thing that everybody consumes every day. So I mean, they can't live without it. So we've got a vast. We have a vast market out there, but we just need to to, to best capitalize on it and. But and assure consumers that, that I mean, American food is so good and so nutritious and, and so affordable that, that uh, I don't think we have to really worry about you know, competing so much as just building up faith in the consumers that, that, that uh, our product is, is something they really want to have. What are your keys to success? The key is to find people around you that can keep you successful and make you look good. That uh, get get people that that you really trust and, and are motivated and are you know technically very qualified and still have the the drive and personality to to work well with others and enable them to go ahead and do whatever that their task is. And I think I've been fortunate to surround myself with a lot of good people and try to I think I need to continually be you know keep an open mind and see you know what new thing is coming along that really makes sense or, or, or what thing that you're doing that you need to change or or just flexibility I think is the, the big thing and uh, long-term relationships and trust of, of people that you're working with is key. Legends start with an outsized vision 
boundless energy, and an uncanny ability to riff. My closing comments when Leave a Legacy returns. Today's squeeze between feed costs and milk prices creates a critical relationship between forages and profitability. High producing dairy herds rely on high quality silage, so many successful dairy operators trust Pioneer brand silage hybrids. Experienced Pioneer sales professionals can help match the right corn silage hybrids to all phases of your operation for high tonnage, high energy, and high digestibility. Pioneer representatives are backed by extensive research and dairy nutritionists, offering silage harvest and bunker management tips and practical solutions for improved production, all to help you squeeze more milk out of every acre. Pioneer also offers breakthrough corn fiber technology with Pioneer brand 11 CFT inoculant. It improves the fiber digestibility and nutrient value of your corn silage and extends bunk life. From planning through feed out, rely on your Pioneer sales professional to help you improve your silage and give your cow something better to eat. Pioneer, science with service, delivering success. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Why series soybeans from Pioneer, for example? They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred-in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. On the agronomic terrain, the best outcomes depend on the best advice. A Pioneer sales professional realizes no two fields are alike, so no one product is the answer. We offer decades of collective wisdom supported by hundreds of agronomy experts with state-of-the-art knowledge. So choose the right product for the right acre. Choose the people and the company who are out there with you every day, every season. Closed captioning is brought to you by Optimum Brand Innovations from Pioneer High Brand. Science with service, delivering success. As this episode winds to a close, I'd like to remind you, the only difference between the person you are today and the one you'll be tomorrow is the commitment you make and the actions you take. Right now, commit to success. Write out your objectives, share them with the family, invite their input, and then work together to define your succession goals. Results don't happen because you have complex strategies and fancy plans. Results happen with clearly defined goals, family team commitment, and good communication. For more information and planning resources, go to FarmJournalLegacyProject.com. Until next time, for Leave a Legacy, I'm Kevin Spafford.